and welcome to today's pre-mark festive Christmas haul. So I picked up some really nice like festive wear, obviously bargain prices because it's pre-mark um, and I'm just really excited to share them with you. So let's just get straight into today's video. I'm going to start off with this amazing, it's like a two piece, but it also came with like a lot of different options. So it's got this like glittery sparkle through. Um, now I really like it because it's like subtle festive. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with like, you know, the glitz and the glam and all of that, but sometimes it is just nice to have like a little bit of like subtle understated glitz. So this is actually a really lovely midi dress. Now I feel like it's quite heavy, like sparkle at the top and it like gets a little bit finer. It's got a really nice like shimmer to it. Um, obviously lovely and fitting. I did pick this up in a 10 to 12 because it didn't have 12 to 14, but preferably I would have gone for that. But I feel like with a rib knitted dress, they are just quite fitted in general anyway. And then I thought this would be lovely just to pop over the top, obviously because it's got no sleeves. Um, you might get a little bit chilly with the cardi undone. Alternatively, obviously you can wear this separately as well. Um, but the dress is a 14 pound, which obviously, like I said, it's that is a bloody bargain. pre mark is the best for bargains. Um, and the card is only £10. I just think it's really, really lovely. I mean, you can definitely wear these kind of things different times of year. I always feel like a bit of glitz, you know, you've got maybe like a trip to London or a little thing like that, then it's not just for Christmas, but when they're like these prices, it's just so good, isn't it? You could also get like a mini skirt that went with this, I think. Midi skirt, sorry, that went with that. Um, and I feel like there was some trousers, but they did look short in the leg, so I didn't pick them up. Um, moving on to something a little more um, <laughs> small, <laughs> but more like night out y. So I feel like that's nice for like Christmas Day. Um, obviously, like more, it's more covered, isn't it? So it's just a little bit more versatile for different events. Whereas this is much more like Christmas party, maybe New Year's Eve party. Um, and this is very similar, like almost identical to one in Zara at the minute. Um, but I think the one in Zara has just got one strap sleeve, like not both. Um, but it's really beautiful for £15. I did size up in this one to a size 14. I always feel like with anything that looks like it's going to cling, just sizing up just gives it like, it makes it look more expensive because we don't really want to cling in areas that we don't want to draw attention to. So that is my little tri trick with these sort of like satin style dresses. I always just size up, super, super easy excuse me, just to make them look a little bit more flattering. This also came in a gorgeous champagne colour, however I did feel like for the length of it, it looked a little bit nighty-esque, like a nighty. Um, or like you've got your underwear on on a night out, like that kind of vibe, and I thought, nah, not like that. So this is £15, absolute bargain, um, and I just think lovely paired with a little pair of, either some black heels if you've got them, or some silver heels. Like These aren't... These aren't from Primark, but I did pick these up from New Look and they are so stunning on. They've even got like this bit around the ankle, which matches completely the straps. So I feel like that as a combo of a sparkly bag as well would look amazing. And I can confirm I did wear these the other night for a Christmas party and I was out till four in the morning and my feet didn't hurt, which was an actual miracle because I have wide fit feet and normally all heels hurt, all heels, like just all heels. And I thought, oh my God, that like plasticky thing there, that's gonna cut my feet. Not, not even a mark on my feet the next day, no blisters. My feet were great. Like, and I mean, I feel like that's a considerable heel. It's probably like not huge, but it's still a bit of a heel if you don't wear heels often. Um, so I was quite proud of myself for that one. But yeah, I just think really lovely, like simple, elegant black dress. Okay, so this is literally a, a Zara dupe. I have this in like a really gorgeous pink um, from Zara in the summer. And it's exactly the same style and fit. I would say the only thing that's different is slightly thinner material. Other than that, it's maybe slightly less shiny, although it still has got a nice shine to it. Yeah, it's just the thinness on the material is, that is different. And it's half the price. So my other dress, I think, was 32 99 This is £15, so more than half price. I was worried about the length on this, but actually when it was on, it was really nice. I love the way they've got like this bit taken to the side and the ruching, and it's got some little button detail in the ruching. Very flattering for anyone who sort of has a slightly larger or more protruded lower area on the belly. I feel like these, this kind of style is super flattering for that. Um, 
it's just really lovely. It's also got a stretchy waistband, which we love. Um, and yeah, I just really like this. I think it's a great Christmas day dress or just like that perfect dress for like Christmas parties, festive activities in the evening, maybe like Christmas party or drinks with the girls, that kind of thing. Um, for £15, like that's unreal, isn't it? And I got that in a size 12 and the fit was great. I am a UK size 12 for reference and I'm five foot nine. So if anything looks a little bit short on me, it's normally because I'm a little bit taller. Um, moving on swiftly. I have got a few tops as well to share with you, not all just dresses. Um, moving on swiftly to this dress. And now this is actually what prompted the whole haul. I saw this on um, a girl I follow on Instagram and I was like, I cannot believe that is from Primark. Again, Zara dupe because literally they have this in Zara, but it's just different material they've used on the top. Um, and I think it's like bardo rather than one shoulder, but I love it equally. It's it's one of the Paula, I can't pronounce this something. So uh, they've got like a collaboration with an influencer called Paula something. Um, and this is £18 though, so like really well priced. It's a little bit short again, but I feel like in the party season you could just get away with it. Like, just go for it, have fun, don't care, don't stress about stuff, it doesn't matter. Like, at the end of the day, you're going out to spend time with your friends, not worrying about what you're wearing. Obviously, you want something that's going to make you feel confident, and you want to feel comfortable. And I feel like this is a really comfy dress. Really, like, just, it's just, like, statement without being, like, in your face. And that's what I really like. I like things to be... She knows what she's doing, like look at where am I, but you're not walking into the room and everyone's like, oh my God, that's a really bright, like eye catching outfit. It's more like, wow, it like emphasizes your own natural beauty. Um, so yeah, I really love that one. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this or if this is not your vibe. Obviously I know like the velour um, material isn't for everyone, but I personally do like it in black. I have actually see seen some really funky trousers this year. And my mum actually picked up a pair from Bon Marche and they're so amazingly priced on there. They also did have quite a few pairs of them on Marx's, but they were double the price. Um, and they were really funky. And I, what, I did almost order this like velour two piece. Like it was like a blazer with studs. It sounds awful. I have a velour blazer with studs, but it actually like looked really effective and matching trousers with like these little gold, not like a square stud, like a little round dotted stud. And... I think it would look great on. Unfortunately, it was out of stock when I went to order it, so I didn't manage to get it. But I think it would have been one of those pieces that I would have loved. And then next year, maybe I would have thought, mm, I don't know what I was thinking. So <laughs> maybe it's like a blessing in disguise that didn't come. But I think with that kind of dress, super classic. All the dresses I've shared with you today actually are very classic. They're not really going to go out of style ever. You'll be able to wear them each year, which I love. Um, I also picked up this bag. I didn't pick up any shoes this time because... I didn't need any to be honest and um, this is obviously a Balenciaga dupe and it's seven pounds I mean I don't even know how much the Balenciaga one is but I can imagine it's in the grands um it's got two different straps is it or just one? Oh no it's got one strap sorry this one which can obviously be made nice and long or you can tuck it in and have it as a nice little handheld bag this came in loads of different colours um, non shiny shiny metallic ones but also like quite bright colors um so just really cute easy to wear with like all the looks um because they've all got a bit of gold uh, see they've all got a bit of silver in um i'm normally more much more of a gold kind of girl but i think this year i was just trying a few different things yeah that didn't work and i really loved that i also have got the top that was like super viral and when I picked it up, I was like, ooh, £25 for Primark seems pricey for a top, doesn't it? But I have to say it is bloody gorge. The only thing for me is it was huge on. Um, so it's this top. Um, if you haven't seen it on TikTok or Instagram, it's it went super viral for ages and like everyone was trying to get their hands on it. I do think like it doesn't look the best quality. I mean, which isn't really surprising because it's Primark, but... I just think for £25, I don't really see like what £25 is worth. It must just be this material. I got it in a medium to large. Now, I'm, like I said at the start, size UK 12, and my bust is about 34. I just didn't think I'd be a small, and I was wrong because this is huge. So if you've got a bigger bust, 
this could be fantastic for you. Um, and then it does up with just like one little button at the back. So you definitely have to go, I mean, some like boob tape and stick it down on you, I think, like double-sided boob tape. And then if you've got a bigger bust, maybe, I'm sorry, it's just not for you, <laughs> unless you can find a trick that works with it. But I do think it's really awesome. I think it would look insane under like a white suit. Um, unfortunately, I have got a white suit again from Max, but I did order the wrong size in the trousers, so I had to send it back. So I've just paired it with the white trousers, but I think like a lovely white blazer on top as well would look amazing. And then just pair it like with those... God, the birds are really loud today. Oh, they're talking to me. Um, with those silver shoes that I shared with you, I think would look absolutely amazing. Um, and then the last piece I've actually got to share with you is a very similar style top. And I actually think this looks much better on. On the hanger, it does look oh, awfully cheap, to be honest. Um, and there is a matching skirt to this. And I know there's like been a bit of a craze of like this sequin skirt this year. And I haven't actually managed to get one. I Like so many times I've almost had one. And then it just for some reason, they've not come into my life. So, and I didn't fancy buying the Primark skirt of this because I did think it looked cheap quality. And I thought, hmm, I'm not going to love that next year. I'm going to think it looks cheap and get rid of it. But however, this does look better on than it does on the hanger. Uh, it's giving me very like 90s vibes, like back in the day when you used to wear sequin things on nights out. But I do think it looks really effective on, and it's only £13, which I mean is, is £12 less than the other one. And it's going to be so much easier to wear because it's got a back, it's got straps that are adjustable. You could wear a bra, strapless bra under here. Um, and this could be worn like with leather, le like faux leather trousers and black heels could be worn with um a skirt could be worn with the white trousers that i wore it with in the video like this actually could be quite versatile you could even go quite chilled with this in jeans and then those silver heels as well and like a nice blazer over the top so i do think something like that is a little bit more versatile in the sense if it's not just like a whole dress a whole outfit for a night you could wear it like more dressed up for different Christmas events that you had going on. So it could be super versatile, which we love. So that is, I feel like that was such a quick pre mark haul. I never thought it was gonna be that quick, but that is today's pre mark festive haul. Um, and I think this is actually gonna be my last festive haul of the season. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Happy 2020, the last few days or how long, however, however long we've got left of it. Um, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe with the lamp button on. Um, not to miss next week's video, which is actually one I'm super excited about. It is a Zara ski slash winter haul. So Zara and H&M actually have both started to do ski wear. Now, me and Reese are planning on doing a ski trip in the new year. So I was like, right, order me them pieces. I want to try them on because trying to find ski wear that, you f that is flattering is hard. So if these, like, if they nail it, I feel like this is going to be insane. So make sure you do um, subscribe not to miss that one. If you don't already follow me over on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook, uh, my handle is exactly the same as it is here. Um, I would love to see you over there as well. And, and also happy new year and Merry Christmas and all of the festive wishes to you guys. Thank you so much for your support this year um, on my YouTube channel and on my other social platforms if you are following along on them too. I hope you do have a wonderful um, Christmas and new year and I will see you in 2023. Bye.